Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from September 25th to October 1st and I'm using this Leonard Designs printable kit called Scaredy Cat along with a Leonard Designs foil bundle that I got in burgundy foil. As far as the kit goes, love it. Love the artwork. Um, and it was pretty, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. I had ended up watching a bunch of Scream movies and I watched the two newest ones this week. So I figured that I should definitely use this artwork for this week. And um, it actually bumped out a different kit. I don't remember what I had planned, but obviously I had to use this. Um, as far as the foil goes, I'm still pretty new to foil bundles and I'm not going to be using them all the time just because, you know, like it gets pricey. But I do sort of regret not getting either red foil or silver. I think the burgundy looks nice, but I didn't realize it's not that shiny. Um, I'm not, I, I don't like have a lot of experience with all the different colored foils, so I didn't know how it was going to look. Um, I still like it, but I do regret my decision. I feel like I should have just gone with red um, or silver. I don't know. And I also will say that I was a little disappointed. Um, I, and my fault, I should have paid better attention to the listing, but I didn't realize that this, um, foil bundle only came with one row of blood glitter header overlays. I thought that there would be enough for the whole spread, but there wasn't. Um, and then the other glitter header overlays that come with it are just these tiny little like specks, like dots, and you can't really see them, especially with the burgundy. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but either way, um, there is a lot of like blood in this spread. So, you know, I got my fix. It's fine. Um, I'm still on the fence about underlays. I feel like sometimes they look great depending on the pattern. And then sometimes they look a little busy and too much. I don't know. I think overall I like this spread, but it's probably not one of my favorites. I don't love what I did with it, but you know, you let me know. Um, and now that I have seen all of the Scream movies, I can officially say that obviously we all know one is the best. And then I would honestly go with four because I love like early 2000s, 2010, like horror movies from that time. And then, um, I honestly think all the rest are garbage. The The two newest ones, I heard some people say they were the best, that they loved them. I was very underwhelmed, wasn't into the writing, wasn't into the sisters, just not for me, didn't love them. Um, agree to disagree, but yeah, not good, not good, did not like. Um, as far as what happened this week, not a lot. I did take three days of PTO, which was lovely. Um, I just have, a, I don't know, it, it's probably an anxiety thing, but I get really anxious about using my PTO too early in the year and I end up hoarding it until the end. Um, so I just, I have a ton of days to use for the last three months of the year, which is nice, but also I probably should have used some over the summer because I was really burnt out. Um, but now I'm obviously glad that I saved them. So yeah, I definitely needed a break this week. That was very nice, especially because I'm back in office three days a week. And if you've seen any of my plan with me's, you know, that like has ruined my life and I hate it and I'm miserable. So I strategically, <laughs> uh, planned my PTO days so that I'd only have to be in the office one day this week. Um, what else happened? Not that much. I did go to a wedding on Saturday and, um, uh, it was good. It was fun. Um, the after party got a little bit awkward, I will say. <laughs> um, but I think it was, it was overall good. And then Sunday, uh, I went to an adoption party, um, just a couple of our friends, they have been fostering this little boy for, I want to say like four years or something like that. And finally they like legally adopted him. So that was cool, but it was just a lot for two days in a row. And like we were at the after party for this wedding pretty late. And then we had to get up really early because the party's like really far away from us. Um, and then we didn't get back till late on Sunday. And then I ended Sunday, um, feeling very, very sick. I was up all night Sunday feeling like I was going to throw up and it was like, 
I don't know, maybe you've had this where every time you lie down, you think you'll throw up and then you have to sit up and then you're fine. And then you lie down and you think it was all night. It was terrible. Um, but yeah, other than that, not really, nothing really happened this week. So yeah, I guess I will just get into the day by day starting with Monday. Um, and the first thing I marked with this label and a munchkin holding a day off sign was that I used my three days of PTO starting this day. And then with a fancy label and this Michael's, this, this is a Michael's sticker sheet. I don't know what the brand is, but this little paw print I marked that I went home to take care of the cats. And then because I had the day off, I decided to not be productive and instead do a puzzle and listen to my audiobook. But you know what? It was good for my mental health. So it is productive in my opinion. Um, and then, uh, this little puzzle sticker is, um, from my friend Ilza. She printed it and cut it for me. So I'm not sure where she got the printable, but, um, that's where I got the puzzle piece. Then with, I think this is an SPC sticker, this uh, sticker sticker, I marked that I pulled stickers for an upcoming plan with me. Then I went over to Joe's and we watched Scream 2022 and the little ghost face is from Once More With Love. And then the final thing for Monday with these munchkins watching TV, I just marked that we watched American Horror Story. And you'll see on Instagram that I added the foiled um, it was a binge watch sticker, but I just cut it and used the watch. It's not centered. And that's because I forgot I had these foiled scripts and I was already filling stuff out in my spread and then remembered to use some of them. So, um, I had to doctor a couple things. So I was able to get the most out of this bundle. Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked with a foiled pillow and this foiled sleep in sticker was that I slept in because I was off. And then unfortunately I got my period this day and I just used a little blood, uh, blood drip from once more with love. Then with, uh, nothing is going right or sorry, I marked nothing is going right with this munchkin rolling her eyes. Um, it was just like a shit show. I needed to print a label to, uh, I think I sold something on Poshmark or something like that. And the label wasn't generating, um, I went to Aldi to get some groceries and then realized I, I forgot feta cheese and I had bought eggs and spinach to make spinach and feta omelets. So like you need the cheese and I was so mad at myself. So I had to go back to the food store. Um, I also wanted to get my tire replaced this day. So I called the place where I've had it done before and they had none in stock in my, in my size. So yeah, just nothing was really going right. Um, then it started to rain as I was driving back to Aldi for the second time. And I think this rain cloud is Stella Bo Sticker Co. The little Aldi bag is from Sticky Perks, I think I want to say. And then under that, I marked with this car just from uh, an older kit that there was absolutely no parking when I got back to Joe's. I had to go home to print the label because his printer was out of ink. It was just like a whole mess. Um, and so then because there was no parking and I had to park in a two hour spot, he and I decided to just go back out, run some errands that we had to do and then um, pick up pizza for dinner. So that's what we did. Um, and then, so yeah, under that I marked that we got dominoes and I used a little sticky perks dominoes sticker to mark that. And then the final thing for Tuesday was we officially caught up with all the Scream movies and I used another ghost face from Once More With Love to mark that. We watched Scream 6. Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked was that I went home and filmed a video and I actually filmed a non-planner related video. I haven't edited the footage. I don't know if I'll ever post it. I was thinking about it, but I might just stick with planner stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't deleted the footage yet, so I can change my mind, but I'm sort of leaning to just like trashing it. Then I filmed a plan with me and it was the week that I went to Prague for work. And this again is just a sticker from an, a leftover sheet from a kit. Then with this 
giant piece of deco. It was a little big. Um, I marked that I didn't eat anything until 3 p.m. And it was not on purpose. I was just like in the zone. And then I realized I was like, I feel sick. And it's because I hadn't eaten. Then under that, I just marked that I worked on my puzzle and probably listened to an audiobook. And I used another little Once More with Love Munchkin to mark that with one of these um, girls that came with this printable kit. I marked that I just like put a bunch of stuff away. Um, like I unpacked my bag from staying at Joe's and like just a bunch of other stuff. Then I had to prep for an office, unfortunately, which means I have to pack my bag, pack my lunch, pick out my outfit. And I used this, um, folded clothing sticker from, I don't remember. I think it's, no, I think it's from the printable kit. Then my grandmother called me and let me know that her older sister had passed away. Um, but she was pretty okay with it because I mean, her sister was 95 years old, so it was only a matter of time. Um, but yeah, she, she was actually, she was actually, you know, okay. She wasn't like, you know, a mess or anything, but obviously she wanted to let me know. So I marked that with this gravestone munchkin. And then under that, I marked that I was in my feelings with this uh, crying munchkin sticker. Just, <laughs> I actually felt really stupid because my grandmother called me to literally tell me her sister had died. And then she asked how I was doing and I instantly burst into tears because I was not doing well. Um, and I just felt so stupid that I'm just crying over how much I hate my life when my grandmother called, like I should be comforting her and it was the other way around. But you know, that's sometimes how it goes. And then the final thing for Wednesday with this cat from Paper Shire, I marked that Brad would not shut the fuck up all night. He kept me up all night. I could have killed him. Um, not really, but oh my God, it was terrible. He is such a an asshole. He's so cute. He's so sweet. He loves me so much, but he is such an asshole, such a typical man. Anyway, moving on to Thursday. The first thing I marked was that it was a glasses day. I'm very self-conscious about wearing my glasses in public, especially if I don't have makeup on. Like I feel, this is just my opinion, but I feel like if I'm wearing glasses, I need a lot of makeup, specifically eye makeup to like make up for the fact that I'm wearing glasses. I know that's stupid, but that's just how I feel. But I've been trying to wear them more often just to make my contacts last longer. Then I marked walking to work with this shoe left over from a kit with this <laughs> sleeping at her desk sticker from the printable and this whatever munchkin I marked that I went to work and at least it was a webinar day. And that just means that my uh, boss was preoccupied and it also gives me extra tasks to do towards the end of the day which helps make the time go by um, my job is very like what's the word it just the days drag let's just say so when there's stuff for me to do it's nice um, as I was working I was listening to a new podcast that um, Alex from I'm gosh, I always forget. I think it's Canada Girl Plans on Instagram. Um, she told me about this red-handed podcast and I tried listening to it and it was actually really good. But the one problem is that one of the hosts, her voice is so like soothing and beautiful that I was falling asleep at my desk, even though the story was like really gruesome that I was listening to. It was just like delivered in such a lovely way. So I don't know if I can listen to this podcast while I'm driving or working because I, I, I might fall asleep um, in a good way. Then with another sticker from the printable, I just marked that I did the dishes. I then watched Sister Wives because the new season's out and finished my puzzle. And it was like a, I don't know how to describe this puzzle. It's the kind of puzzle that's not fun to do until the end um, because the pieces don't lock together until you have like more than half the puzzle done, if you know what I mean. So it, it was really fun this night to finish it. And then I just filled in a spread and used this planner also from the printable. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked with this little house from the kit was that I worked from home. I also did laundry this day and um, I think this laundry machine might be from the kit as well. And so was this bed. I was just, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been loving pulling stickers. So if I can just use them from the kit, I've been using them from the kit. Um, I also changed my sheets this day. So I used a bed to mark that. With this envelope from an older kit, I marked that I walked to USPS and um, 
what did I do? I think I mailed some happy mail this day. And then with this girl working out, I marked that I ran on the treadmill and talked to my best friend on the phone. Uh, under that, with this munchkin on the phone, I marked that Joe called. Um, we were just like, I think we were just going over like everything for the weekend because we had a lot going on. Then I cleaned and just used another sticker from the printable to mark that. I then uh, steamed the dress I was wearing to the wedding and then also had to sew it. Um, nothing, uh, very few things fit me properly when I get them. I usually have to like make straps tighter or whatever. Um, so I had to do that and I used a foiled sticker to mark that. And then the final thing for Friday was that I did my nails and I want to say this SE bottle is from Sticky Perks. Like maybe the, it, uh, I bought these a while ago, so I can't 100% say, but I think it's Sticky Perks. Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked was that I was so tired. I stayed up way too late, like doing all the sewing and my nails and stuff. And then um, my friend was actually coming over. She really wanted to do my hair and makeup for me, which is so nice of her. That's so like to come like she lives like an hour away, but she she really wanted to do it for me. So um, I wanted to make sure that before she got there, I filled my tire because I didn't really want to do that in, in like a like a dress and heels. Um, and I wanted to clean the litter before she got there as well because I also don't want to do that in like my, you know, you get it. I, I want to do that before I get my hair and makeup done. Then with this pumpkin paper co-tara with curlers in her hair, I marked that she came and did my makeup and my hair. Then um, with this uh, munchkin just doing her makeup, I just marked that I like edited it a little bit because um, I'm a control freak. So after she left, I just like you know, changed a couple things just to feel a little more comfortable. And then under that, I marked with this uh, Coffee Monsters Co. sticker that we went to the wedding. And the final thing for Saturday was that just something awkward happened at the end of the night. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked was that we had a really long drive. And I believe this car is also from the printable. Then with this girl from the printable, I marked that we stopped at an Aldi on the way because we wanted to pick up like a dessert to bring to the party as well as a giant chocolate bar because we were told that um, the boy who got adopted, he really likes chocolate bars. So that's what we did. Then we went to the adoption party that was at a park and I used a munchkin head to mark that. With this Sticky Perks Target bag, I marked that after the party, we stopped at Target. I think I probably had to get Red Bull or something like that. And I think Joe had a return. Then we stopped at my house to take care of the cats. And I used this Once More With Love sticker to mark that. Then with this toilet sticker from Scribble Prince Co., I marked that Joe figured out what was going on with my toilet. Because I think I mentioned that after the plumber came to fix it, it was like making a hissing noise still every once in a while. It wasn't like constant anymore, but it was like happening every couple hours. And he figured out that the flap wasn't lining up correctly. So we were able to sort of like take care of that. It might um, happen again just because the flap is loose in there, but at least now I know how to fix it. Then with another sticker from the kit, I marked that... Uh, what did I do? I guess we went for a walk and then, yeah, we went for a walk and then, um, sorry, this, I have no memory of this week anymore. Then with this drooling munchkin in an armchair, I marked that we just had the longest day. Like we got up so early after being out late the night before, and then we didn't get back until really late. It was probably about like 10 PM at this point and I still had to shower. So it was just like too much for me. Then with a TV from the kit, I marked that we watched the challenge. And the final thing for Sunday was that I was up all night fighting for my life. I ended up going to sleep on the couch because I was so scared I was going to throw up and I sleep on the inside of the bed against the wall. And like, that's not the best place to be when you're sick. Um, and <laughs> Joe brought me a barf bucket to sleep next to. So that was romantic. Um, and yeah, I was, I was up watching the sunrise. It was 
awful. But anyway, that is everything for this spread. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.